waking up every day and wishing, I was, just wishing I was dead. Amen. I was just so hurting, and I didn't want to die. There is an old saying that uh, people who are seeking to be religious uh, are people who are trying to avoid hell. Uh, and that people who are seeking to follow Jesus are people who know they've already been there. The depression was crushing me. I'd gotten to a point, I had two, bout, two bouts of hepatitis, my liver was pretty much gone. Uh, I had a painkiller addiction and I used the painkillers to get off the meth and coke. Jesus Christ. There's really no good reason why he's here. I can remember passing out at the, at the table in a restaurant and my face going down in the food. When my daughter was eight, it was funny. When she was 10, it wasn't funny. Literally, he had a very difficult time putting words together. I was waking up in the morning and just breathing alcohol fumes, uh, vodka or, or bourbon, and just every cell in your body hurting so much. Yeah, my family was pretty much expecting me to die at any moment. kind of a group of people who come together from all sorts of different backgrounds, all sorts of different cultures. To walk in the door, you have to be a little bit broken. How did I end up in church? And they began to come here because he had come to the end of the road. I got a bad attitude, I'm cynical, I don't particularly like church. Nobody had any hope. But all I cared was what worked. It was almost a mathematical equation. I did something, it worked, I kept doing it a lot. If it didn't work, I wasn't going to do it. Let the world see that there is a possibility of another world, another power, another justice, another kingdom. I prayed that night and um, prayed and basically through many tears and freaking out and begging God, I said, either show up or kill me. Pray for him, pray for him, pray for him. Uh, that was all we could do. In my prayers it was, please understand who you get. I like going to bars. I like being bad, I smoke cigarettes, I drink like, like I'm doing narcotics, you know, I, I wish for death. That's the guy you're getting. It's almost like God was saying, excellent, you're just the guy I'm looking for. I woke up and there was absolutely no desire to drink and nothing was gone inside of me and it was just huge. I don't think that there is any way Humpty Dumpty ever gets put back together again. It doesn't work that way. Something new has to take its place. The Lord transformed him. And now he teaches Bible study. I followed those directions in my head that said, go to church. I said, okay, I will go. So when I came, all I wanted to do was, was help. This part of the city of Dallas is dying from learned helplessness. What we're doing is a thing called Logos. A lot of kids we find uh, are going into the world, don't know how to really eat a dinner together, how to socialize, and so our deal is just to really put our hearts out with them, sit with them and eat. After we get through eating, one of my jobs is to go wash dishes for all the kids. The adults serve the kids, and we teach them how to be servants. Mr. Tom. Mr. Tom! Yeah! It's been amazing to watch. The Lord is, is not done with him yet. Uh, for him was just to be able to find a place where he's loved. People say, well, should I go to church? I don't know. Should I get sober? I don't know. But here's what happened to me. 